Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov slash apod. And today's picture for January the 21st of 2020, well, it is titled Parker Sounds of the Solar Wind. So what do we see here? Well, this is a video clip that will run about 40 seconds and is actually made from the Parker Solar Probe, which is exploring the sun and studying the sun. The craft is in an elliptical orbit and is currently around the distance of Mercury from the sun. Now because it's an elliptical orbit that means it gets in closer and comes out further away. So it's actually using the gravity of the planet Venus to be able to change its orbit. So every year or so or it comes in closer to uh, cups it closer to Venus makes a close approach and adjusts its orbit so that it can get even closer to the sun. It is very difficult to send something close to the sun because of the orbital energy. So very difficult. That's one of the reasons that it's much easier to explore the outer portions of the solar system going further away from the sun than it is to try to get close to the sun. Now the video itself talks about the sounds of the solar wind. So if we go ahead and play the video, you'll get to hear some of these different sounds as as this goes through and you'll hear three different types of sounds. So if you listen to it over the course of these, you will actually hear three different things uh, as you're going through this. So let's go ahead and play the video now. Now as you hear on that you can hear that there are several different types of sound. The first rather spooky sounding type of waves and then a much more intense type of waves almost a wind and then finally more of a chirping waves that we hear last. So three different types of waves that are being generated by the solar wind. Now sound waves themselves can be produced in the sun but they can't travel to earth so we can't hear them here on Earth because they cannot travel through the vacuum of space. So what we're hearing are some of the different uh, registrations of the particles that we hear and the fields around the sun and those are being translated into sound waves. So at the location where you are the sound would be too uh, that the matter would not be enough matter there to be able to transmit the sound waves. You wouldn't actually be able to hear anything, but we can use it as a way to be able to study uh, what is going on there very close to the sun. Now the Parker Solar Probe will also uh, begin to go in closer and in fact by 2025 will be very, very close to the sun. And right now it gets as close as about 19 million kilometers from the sun. But that will change later this year when it flies by Venus this summer. It'll be pushed into an orbit that is only about 14 million kilometers and then next year down to 11 and then slowly increasing until it gets down to less than 7 million kilometers from the sun. So a good a great chance it's the, by far the closest object to the sun and gives us a great chance to be able to study the sun itself up close. It will also be the fastest man-made craft ever sent. And in fact, by 2025, we'll be traveling at a very fast speed of over 400,000 miles per hour.
However, that's still only a tiny fraction, less than one tenth of a percent of the speed of light. So even though it's incredibly fast from our perspective, still very, very slow compared to light speed. And even if we were to use something this fast to travel between the stars, it would still be a very, very long prospect to get there. So that was our picture of the day for January the 21st of 2020. It was titled Parker Sounds of the Solar Wind. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be nearest star cluster. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.